Hey to all my friends out there on YouTube land, this is Jack from Jack's Hobby Hub, man of a thousand hobbies. Hey, I'm here to give you a quick tip on restoring, repainting and restoring Lionel uh, post-war steam engines. The die-cast steam engines, not tin plate, this is die-cast. Um, the paint is difficult to get off these engines and to do a good job in restoring it and repainting it, you really need to strip it down to the bare metal. Uh, what I found works really well is, believe it or not, easy off oven cleaner. And how you do it is, you, you make a stand, and what I did was, uh, I made a stand, a T-stand of a piece of plywood and a piece of five-quarter pine that I can just put this casting, once it's all disassembled, I can put the casting on and spray um, parallel to the ground because you don't want to spray down into a pan with this stuff, otherwise you'll only be able to get the first two-thirds of the product out of the can. The last third you won't be able to use, It'll, it won't be usable, so you have to spray it uh, you know, either parallel to the ground or maybe on an upward angle a little bit. So that's why you need that stand so you're spraying either parallel or up uh, and not down. But anyway, once you spray the entire engine, the entire casting, let it sit for 30 minutes. And you really have to make it, you have to have some patience here because you really have to wait 30 minutes. Otherwise it won't work. So after 30 minutes you take a soft brush, a toothbrush or a larger brush and you, then you can take a pan of warm water and you can place the casting over the pan and as you, as you brush the, uh, the casting, wet the brush every time you, you scrub the casting and the paint will come off. Now, you're probably going to have to do it two or three times, sometimes four times to get all the paint off, but it really works well. It really does work well. Now this will also take paint and graphics off of plastic trains without damaging the plastic. So here I have a, uh, uh, an 1110 um, engine. This is a, um, the old uh, Scout locomotive. And I embellished it a little bit with bell and some, some uh, grab irons and stuff like that. And, you know, all the, all the bells and whistles. But this was a, um, uh, a plastic tender that I took the graphics off of before I repainted it. And this was in really bad shape when I got it. It was rusty. It, somebody had painted it uh, silver with some model paint and it was really in bad shape. So I I, uh, I basically stripped everything. I, I stripped the graphics off the tender and I repainted it. Now repainting, um, I found that the best uh, paint to use for this type of train is the 2X, the uh, Rust-Oleum 2X semi-gloss black. Uh, it gives you a really good finish that's really, really, really close, almost undetectable un, uh, of the difference of finish from an original Lionel train. Now, when you get these old castings, they look like they were painted flat black, but they weren't. They were painted with a semi-gloss paint. The reason why they look flat black is because the you know, 50 or 60 years worth of handling um, and the paint, the finish is worn down and worn off. But this is a pristine 6066T tender. This is an original tender, an original Lionel tender. This is a repainted 2034, and the finishes are basically identical. So it's, it's really a good match to the old uh, Lionel finish. Uh, so again, it's a, good, uh, it's a good paint to use. You really want to strip the paint off the engine before you repaint it. Now what I use is also, I use a Rust-Oleum primer, the professional primer, to prime the uh, casting before I spray paint it, and that gives you a good finish. Now you want to go light with these, with, with these paints because they, they ha tend to go on pretty heavy. So you want to take it easy. You want to go light coats, uh, basically just like they recommend uh, on, the, on, the, uh, on the can. So that's, that's basically it. I just wanted to give you a quick tip, again, on stripping the paint with Easy Off Oven Cleaner. Be patient, 30 minute wait before you start to scrub. Priming with the, uh, with the uh, Rust-Oleum Professional Primer and finish with the 2X Semi-Gloss Black Rust-Oleum. That's it. Have fun with your trains and remember, life is really boring without hobbies. Jack from Jack's Hobby Hut. Take care. Be safe and be healthy.